Welcome back to Let's Play God Hand. This is Kung Fu Jesus. This is Medibot. And we got a cutscene, so shh. Before we go to. Ow. That fat moron's no joke. Gene. What? I found this in our room. Here, look. Isn't this a demon seal? What an evil bitch. I want you to help those people. What? Don't you look at me like that. Well, you do have the God Hand. All right already, I'll go. But they know we're here now. We need to find a safer place. Aw, Jean, you're worried about me. No way. I'm gonna get her back one of these days. Okay, so... KFJ, that's... what have you done to me? Uh, I, I do? feel huh? violated. What? Looking at women in scantily clad, you know... That... I, it, I just wasn't expecting it. Well, then again, this is an adult playground, so m maybe I should have braced myself with something like that. Boring. Speaking of, this is the beginning of Stage 3. And it looks quite a bit different than what we've been seeing. It does. You have some sort of... Circus. A circus of love. A circus of sin, I'd like to think. Love is kind of a sin, if you think about it in a more metaphorical, abstract, existentialist sense. I suppose so, but whatever. Don't really care. Because right now we're fighting a, a woman. And this is the first um, female elite that we come across. She's got a pretty scary looking hat. She put an eye out. Yeah, and I, I hate to let them get their attack off, but basically they take off their hat, the blades extend, and they throw it at you like Bruce did, and, you know, he's got that boomerang. Oh, that's nasty. But she throws her hat because women will throw hats. Right, I guess. I guess it's mostly because she has a hat, and that has blades on it. But does she have the hat because she's, she's a woman, or is she a woman because she has that hat? I think neither. I'm not do you sure. really think these two facts are unrelated? I really do. Because I'm pretty sure that there are people in this game who have hats who are not women and who are women and don't have hats. Well, things other than having a hat can make a person a woman. But right. is her hat what makes her a woman? I don't think so. I think the fact that she has boobs. You think it's the boobs? Yeah, she's wearing a one-piece and high boots. So, I'm pretty sure... I guess sure that's a valid theory. Wow. Now who would just good. leave all their money in that concession stand like that? Well, I mean, if they were selling things and they were collecting money, it's not... But the stand is clearly a... You just... Oh my god, that clown. Yeah, that, that is a Please clown. His name is Gary. Clown. His name is Gary. Gary? This, yeah. This game preys on, uh, brother, actually. He obviously went into the circus. Uh, did clown school. Not Fighting really. with Umbrella is, uh, pretty classy, and so I'm gonna have to applaud you for thinking of doing that. Yeah, the, uh, the Umbrella is not like a normal weapon. You do not swing with it as you would another blood object. You stab with it. In the face. Right, like, like the penguin would. Right. Um, as much as I don't like to compare Gene to villains from comic books, yeah, the penguin probably would do that. Except the penguins were smaller and he'd spin it around to try to hypnotize you, and it never worked, because he's dumb. He is pretty dumb. But, you know, he never... He always, he always loses. So, he uh... He can't be the Batman that easily. Not with a hypno umbrella. The, the Batman is mostly immune to mind-affecting mind uh, stuff, mostly. Uh, there's one weakness that he has, and that's women, but usually he takes good care of them. And by take care of them, I mean if they're bad, he, like, you know, puts them away in jail forever. Well, yeah, because he's still a crime fighter, even if he does love women, as all Batman do. And then he tells Robin, you know, son, you shouldn't uh, hang out with those loose hussies. 
It's true. Loose hussies are nothing but trouble. Okay, so a couple new enemies in the stage. We've already seen the clown Gary. Uh, the zebra suit guy is, is named Mr. Zoltan, but we've seen him before. And the woman with the whip who, well, she's just a woman in white with a white hat. Um, her name is, well, what's her name? Uh, is it Stella? Yeah, Stella. Stella? Huh? It's Stella. Stella! Not so loud, please. Oh. Yeah, it's just Stella, it's okay. It's, it's, it's a regular Stella, not, not a no, yelled up not, uh, Yeah, yeah, no need for alarm. Okay. Does she have a sister named Loretta by any chance? I have no idea. I don't know these demons' twisted family trees. Is that a box made of knives? It is, and we'll get to those later. Um, they're the reason why, even though I haven't been hitting anything, uh, you'll hear people getting launched in the background. How can you defeat a box? Punch it. How do you defeat oh, yeah. a box? Come on. I feel I, I should have thought of that. Yeah, I thought you were, you know, in the game. Uh, no, I'm, I'm neither in the game nor becoming a part of the game. Oh, you made the box well, angry? No, 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 it just activates after a while. I got to it too late. Oh, that but, box is so mad. Yeah, but it's like one of those things at the beach where you stand in it and uh, and put your face out and you get a buff figure. Oh. Uh, yeah, except in this case, it's got four sides and uh, periodically knives come out and it spins towards you. So it's more like the magic box that magicians will stage magicians will use that they'll put people in and then they'll make it look like they're getting stabbed a whole lot when they're Except actually it's the other way around. It's in, in fact the other way around. They're they put things stabbed. R well, they, it's more like um, you, and no one's in but, the box. You're outside of the box. Nice. Well, it's more like um, they put you know, a demon goes in the box and then instead of being stabbed, he stabs you. It's the opposite. So it's a demon in the box. Yeah, it's a demon in the box. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't... This seems unsafe, fighting so close to an exploding barrel. You'd think so, but simply punching a barrel it does not make it explode, which is weird, I, I admit, but... That makes sense. You can't just punch a barrel open. Barrels are pretty strong. You'd have to punch it a couple times. Well, Doom, Doom tells us otherwise. Uh, pressing forward and punching a barrel can cause it to explode rather easily. Those are shoddy barrels. These are high-quality demon barrels. No, what it is, is this. In this game, you punch things to defeat them, right? Right. Well, barrels don't need to be defeated, so therefore punching them does not work. You get where I'm coming from? Oh, no. But I'll allow it. Okay, well, I'm just saying, items don't need to be defeated. So they, they, yeah, uh, you, you punch them and nothing happens, because you can't defeat a barrel, don't need to. Don't want to? Mostly. And, can't, you know... Won't eat it? Uh, can't stand it. Uh, don't feel like fighting this guy hardcore, so I'm gonna just beat him up. What else is the god hand for, after all? Uh... Well, other than punching and kicking guys, um... Yeah. I guess the first thing you're at bows? Yeah. You've already uh, got that Olivia character always hanging around with you. She'll probably repel any attractive lady types. Yeah, she's kind of a psycho, possessive nutcase and everything. She is. But at the same time, she, she, she seems completely uninterested in you. Why do women do this? I think it's a farce. And she's only 19, so... Uh, yeah, that makes it kind of weird. And Jean's 23, but I mean, in this world of poke apocalyptic uh, landscapes and everything, society has yet to wait. Pokemon back destroyed to... the world. Well, Pokemon what? You, you, you poke apocalyptic, you said. Yeah, poke apocalyptic. Um, society has yet to write itself back to where it once was. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wh which Pokemon did it though? Um, oh, or is it poke apocalyptic because all of the Pokemon were destroyed? It's that one. Oh, okay. That's kind of depressing. They wiped out 486 it's, species. It's a world where you cannot exist, really. 
Am I a Pokemon? Uh, no, but you're a person who probably would not be able to exist if there were no Pokemon. Did I exist before Pokemon existed? Yes. I, Definitely. I found a small hole in your argument. Oh. A small me-sized hole. <laughs> you are rather small. It's true. Uh, I am not lost. Anyway, got a little demon challenge here. Um, basically fight a bunch of the people we've been fighting all stage. Uh, they don't seem so tough. It's true. And, you know, a bunch of Stella. Um, this first stage is easy because it's just them and a, a Gary. Oh, Gary. There. You goof. But Gary's easy because he's a giant fatty, so... He is. He's comfortable. And he, like all fatties, he is vulnerable to stinging. Yeah. The biting gnat, the stinging wasp, and me hitting you in the nose with my kneecap. So we got uh, Miss Traffic here. By the way, did I mention her name is Miss Traffic? Her name is Miss Traffic? Yeah. That explains a thing or two. Like the hat. Like her hat. Yeah, like the hat. Because her hat might be a traffic cone. It is, looks rather like a traffic cone. Only somehow deadlier than a regular traffic cone. I don't think there's any somehow involved. And we do the Cossack Dance of Doom. Oh, and this is an elite that we will see later on in the next stage. He's a robot. Oh my, he is a robot. You can tell because sparks fly out when you hit him. And he has a robotic voice. His name is Mr. Red Robot. Red Ro Does he have a theme song? No. That's a bit depressing. I always like my robots to have theme songs. Yeah, he's not cool enough to have a theme song. I don't want to take any chances. Yeah, you're... And I want to finish this on level die so I can get max gold power. Look at that, 30,000. Yeah, 30,000. Nice. I love it. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> 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 I don't know how many tries that little devil challenge took. Oh, yeah, it actually. built your health back up. No, it didn't, actually. That's a clever edit. Thank you for, uh, oh. you know, getting rid of the illusion there that I'm... Perfect hey, day. uh, I, what can I say? I like ruining things. No, I, you know, I'll just call you next time I want, uh, you know, something ruined. You, you know, need a like wet blanket, cake. maybe? Yeah, right, a TV, uh, you know? I've got this nice TV, maybe you want to come over and pee on it while I'm watching TV. Yeah, I'll, I'll just pour some water on your television, or, or maybe, uh, leave a slice of pizza on top of your laptop. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. While it's on, and then maybe close the lid. Yeah, on yeah. It. Close the lid. I'll put the slice of pizza on the keyboard, then close the lid, because I just yeah. love ruining good things. Like my laptop. Like your yeah. laptop, and maybe every aspect of your personal existence. Everything you own will be destroyed by me. Well, that would suck. I really like the things that I own. Well, you can't have them because I'm going to destroy them. So I guess you can still have them, they'll just be destroyed. Well, then they're not really them anymore, they are destroyed versions True. of them. Which, which is a question cool. of what defines uh, an object's existence. Alright, let's just not go into that. If it's you have late. a boat, and you take the boat apart, and then rebuild it, is it the same boat? Good question. One I don't care to uh, discover the answer to. Are there boats in this game? I think there are a bit like. Look, man! Look, man! Stop! Stop talking! All right? Because I really don't. I, I uh, don't have the brain power to think about it. You know? And things, you should take my, and... my mental supplement. What is your it, mental what, supplement what a made of? Physical therapy. Uh, which is to say, I punch you in the back of your head until you feel better. <laughs> then does information go there when uh, you punch them? Yeah, because I punch a hole and the information can flow directly through the hole into your central processor. I don't have a... well, actually maybe I do have a central processor, I'll get back to you. You don't one. have one, we can we're just install one. one. And a key for some reason! Yeah, we're done with the video. Well, you had to open the... You had to be oh yeah, the key the to open the door that leads to the heart that's pumping your... So this is the next... the next level is the Masked Man's Riddle, which is the boss fight, so we'll see you then.